guys, I'm filled with energy today. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys have an amazing holidays which is going on. I don't know if it's going on or not because some of you guys have just started your exams. So I wish you guys all the all the very best to you guys. And yes, so today I'm filming this holiday makeup look, a full glam holiday makeup look. Just a little sleep with that one put out there that I haven't used glitter pigment in it. If you want, you can apply this glitter pigment on the top of the eyeshadow, but I didn't found any, so uh, please excuse me for that. But um, yes, so uh, otherwise, this is a full, I think, glam makeup look for holidays. You can just go all out with glitter. Nobody is going to be saying anything. So yeah, so I have recreated this bronzy, gold, smoky, um, the, like, <laughs> I'm always saying the Diwali makeup look, I don't know, um, the holiday makeup look, and you can change up, switch up the lip shade which you want, uh, I just want to go all out bold with uh, the plum color, because I love it, and yes, yeah, so I hope you guys have an amazing holidays, um, and yes, yeah, so uh, if you want to know how to get this makeup look with the highlight and blur, then please keep watching. So the first thing which I'm going to apply is I have nothing on my face right now. I have a clean bare face. And the first thing which I'm going to apply is this L'Oreal Paris uh, Skin Perfect Cream, which is which has a UV filter and it is for age 20 and 20 plus. So if you are at the age of 20 and 20 plus, I think you should definitely uh, use this product because it's really, really, really good. And um, I am kind of like... I, I think I've been using this for like a week, about two weeks and I, I really quite like it so um, we're just gonna pop it, not actually pop it, but apply this all over our face. So we're just done with that and then uh, next thing which I'm going to move on to is my foundation. So uh, the first thing which I'm going to do for my foundation is obviously use a foundation. Where is it? Where the hell are you? Baby? Yeah, 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 baby. Oh, here it is. So I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation which is in the shade Toffee Caramel in the shade number 330 so this is my shade and this is a matte plus poreless foundation from normal to early skin and this is perfect for my skin tone I, I think I don't want to use any other foundation I don't know for what instinct but I think I love it I love it I love it I love it so I'm just gonna use this and um, yes yeah, so I do not like to stick my finger in it so what I do is normally I, it has some product on its cap so I'm just gonna take it I'm just going to dab it all over my face. Next time. Right. So then I'm going to take a buffing brush like this. This is the Angle Foundation Bluffing Brush. Bluffing. Buffing. <coughs> buffing brush. And I'm just going to buff this foundation on my skin just like you normally would so since my base is done I'm gonna move a little bit on the concealer so choose any of your favorite concealer and apply this on conceal a little bit That's it with the concealer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, like small precise brush like this and I'm just going to break that into the skin. on and again I'm just going again with my brushing brush and I'm just gonna buff it 
so it does not look harsh or anything then in order to set my foundation I'm just gonna use a powder brush like this I choose any of your favorite powder brush ding ding just gonna tap take any of excess dab off and just press it onto my skin right then the next thing which I'm gonna do is move on for my brows so uh, I don't know if you guys can see it but my brows are a bit swollen from here for some because I just got them threaded so it's it's a bit swollen and it's it's like paining my brow uh, the Maybelline fashion brow duo shaper um, and I'm just gonna take the waxy side of it and I'm just gonna fill my brows up I'm just going to fill them up. The one thing which I like about this uh, this Maybelline one is that it has a good waxy amount to it. It's not very sticky and it's not very harsh but it's like a okay kind of a thing. And then I'm going to take the sponge side which has a color, like a brown like color to it, whatever it's called, I don't know. The powder side, sorry. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna apply it there. So my brows are done and then I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Yes, yes. A bit Okay, so uh, for my eyes, I was just thinking I'm just going to wing it, but uh, I just came up with this idea of like a, a bronzy, a coppery, bronzy, gold um, eye look. So I'm going to choose this palette right here, which I have, and then I'm going to use this, uh, this copper, this copper brown color, and also I'm going to use uh, this copper brown color again here, which is on the top, and a little bit of gold cash you know just like that. sorry I'm just gonna take a, a angle <coughs> sorry um, what brush is it called um ah uh, it's called the eyeshadow brush no okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this coppery bronze color and I'm gonna tap off it's super pigmented like it's hell yes it's pigmented so just make sure that you are a bit careful of it any coppery bronzy shade which you're gonna apply I'm just gonna apply this on my eyes like oh it's a nice coppery brown color man I love it This one has a bit of a fallout, so make sure that you get good with it. Right? So then I'm just gonna um, add a bit of a highlight on my brow bone, you know. Also on the inner corners of my eyes. Right. So then the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this, like not a fluffy actually, but like a pencil brush like this. I'm going to take a little bit of a black because I want to go like a whole black bowl with it. So I'm just going to apply this on the inner corners like this because I want to mainly focus on the center of my eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this black color and I'm going to press it like on it's not even one fourth of it so like a very tiny part of the inner corners on the lids and you're just gonna blend it in 
same we're doing with this eye we're just gonna pack it on the inner parts like this just make sure that you choose a very little amount of air don't just go all black with it because some black are really pigmented so make sure that you're a bit careful with it so you do not like a, look like a ghost right and then same we're doing with the outer corners of my eyes i'm just gonna pack this color on here pack this color on here i'm just gonna blend it up right blend this thing up right and then i'm gonna use choose a fluffy brush like this a dome shape brush and i'm just gonna you know, it's working through my crease. Make sure that everything is blended and nice. So I'm using this Elodine um, liquid liner and I'm gonna do a very thick wing with it. So, so I'm not gonna be applying a very thin liner but I'm gonna like, just wing it. You know, wing it. Wing. No, okay. Done with like the Thing. And then I'm gonna use a cold kajal and I'm gonna apply this on the upper and lower lash line. I'm gonna smudge it out, smoke it out on the lower lash line. I'm not a huge fan of uh, kajal and especially which is if it's on my lower lash line. I'm really not a fan of it. But for some occasion I think I really like it because it just kind of makes my eyes a bit more vibrant. And then I'm just gonna smudge it out a little bit with like a really precise brush like this. I'm just gonna smudge it out and smoke it out on the lower lash line. This will help you to make your uh, eyes look a little bit more bigger and bolder so it's not very like small. Because my eyes are pretty small, so. Right? So then I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply a few coats of mascara. used to sing this song in school I certainly used to do that yeah so I'm just gonna apply a few coats on the upper and lower lash line exactly my favorite and it goes well with my skin tone so that's why I kind of like normally go for it so if you have false mascara you can apply it but I don't I'm quite scared of it so I don't like to apply it then the next thing which is left is my blush highlight and blush highlight and what so I'm using this Makeup Revolution Blush Palette, um, which is <coughs> oh, <coughs> which is a sugar and spice blush palette, and it has a really amazing highlight. Like I can die for this highlight. I can say yes. So this is the palette, you know. So I'm gonna use this 
peachy color today so I'm not going to be going all out with pinks but I'm going to be using this peachy color right here today and apply it like a blush like you normally would. weird technique of applying my blush I don't know for some reason I, I go out like a contouring thing I don't know why but just saying right so my blush is done and then moving on to highlights let's use a new brush today let's use it so uh, for my highlight I'm gonna use this uh, last highlight shade which is in the palette and I'm gonna just take a little bit of it because it's super pigmented and I'm just gonna highlight my face. You can go all over the highlights if you want, if you are a huge fan of it. I just want to like get it on the tops and you know. Oh that highlight, look at it. Right. On the center tip of my nose on the cupid spur right and the bar bone same we're doing with this Right, and then the last thing which is left is my lips. So um, I just wanted to go all bold with like pink, not actually pink, but it's like a more of a very plummy color. So I'm using this plum shade, which is uh, called Light Plum from Color Essence, and I'm just gonna. is like continuously ringing I don't know for what reason right so we are done with that and yes yeah, so this is it for the full glam uh, makeup look and I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, do let me know in the comments tell me how you like this video and I hope you guys have an amazing 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 holiday and of course you can add glitter I tried applying this glitter on my which I got but it's not working it's not pigmented so it's like wasted so if you have a glitter pigment which I was like dying to try it but it didn't I didn't found any glitter liner eyeliner glitter I, pigment like that so I'm pretty disappointed with that but you can go out all out with glitter and stuff because New Year's at the time where you can just go all out with glitter so yes yeah, so I hope you guys have an amazing 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 holidays do let me know in the comments tell me how you like this video and if you have any suggestions or recommendations feel free to write it on my twitter instagram and snapchat and if you're not following them they already have all my social media links in the description box below so you guys can come and say hi and yes so uh until then stay tuned stay confident keep listening keep loving me and i hope you guys have an amazing 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 year bye